Hey, good morning there. Look, I had a, <clears throat> I had a uh, early to bed, early to rise sort of moment last night. Went to bed like really early last night. I was dead tired, and you know I woke up a couple times during the night, but still I ended up getting up at you know like uh, 5:30 this morning and got a bunch of stuff done. Got my packaging done to go with me to the shop. The lady's gonna the post uh, the postal carrier is gonna pick her up, pick it up there tomorrow today. So. Uh, and I, I still have a few minutes left here before, so I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and, and do this What Sold video. So this is uh, What Sold for the third week of February 2019. And uh, hopefully I get enough time, enough time here to get this done before I got to take off. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing that we sold this week was one of these uh, Farberware lids. And I've been selling these. Uh, the, well, it's harder to get the Farberware lids than it is to get the Revereware lids, but I do sell both of them. And I would sell others if I could find some, find decent ones. Anyway, this particular lid that I sold uh, was like seven and a quarter inches, but uh, I paid seventy nine cents at Goodwill. I listed it January thirty first, sold it February fifteenth, and I got ten ninety five plus shipping for it so that was a good deal all right next if I can do it next and this I sold the uh, the bottom bowl part here the the part there in the in the uh, right, bes right beside the base there in the back and I got I got 10 bucks for 10 bucks 9.99 um, paid 38 cents and I listed it January 10th sold it February 15th so and that one did not get returned as yet so that was a, that was the good part I think most of them are out now. So, all right, next. And Monopoly here and now. This is uh, I have had some of the. I've had these for a while, and uh, I think I only have one left. No, it says zero, but I'm pretty sure I still have one left. So I need I need to fix that because it says there's zero available. I'm pretty sure there's another one out there yet. So I need to fix that. All right, so uh, I paid four dollars for it new at Walmart. So several years ago I'll tell you this I listed it October 17th 2016 so it's three years you know going on that so uh, it sold February 16th two and a half years for $25 plus shipping so it's it's brand new sealed so uh, I just had to wait three years to get the sale I've sold I've sold I've sold them on and off over the last couple of years so uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Next, these are a, they're actually green. Uh, I don't really kind of look at in that picture, but uh, the close-up pictures you can see it's kind of a green, like a um, I don't know, green. I don't want to say like a. It actually they look a lot like that dead grass out there right now. Is what they look like, but uh, not quite brown, not quite green, but yeah, right in there. So. Anyway, I paid four bucks for them, and I listed them October twenty second last year. Sold February sixteenth. I got twenty dollars for them plus shipping, and I was I was good with that. that 20, 20 bucks for a pair of jeans that I paid four dollars for. I'm cool with that. It's not thirty, but it is twenty. So next, and this is out of a Star Wars Monopoly game. I listed these years ago. Uh, I thought, you know, I'd, I'd part it out, and I did all right with some of the parts early, but uh, so basically, I paid, you know, I paid a buck for the for the game, for the Monopoly game. So you know, these parted out, you know, at probably a penny a piece, you know. So uh, basically, I listed it October tenth, two thousand fifteen. So going on four years, sold this one. February 17th for a dollar. So they bought one little Star Destroyer for a dollar plus shipping. Uh, I don't recommend doing that, but I did. So next, postcard. I got this at a clean out, a house I cleaned out several years ago now, and I, so I paid nothing for it. And let's see, I listed it May 19th, 2017. It sold February 17th. I got ten dollars plus shipping on it, so it's a little girl with a donkey. You know, you know that donkey could take her. Right? A donkey could just take her, but he's just interested in that food. He's not interested in nothing else. So, 
All right, next. That's sort of like me. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts. So, plastic travel mug. I don't know how old these actually are. And you know, I know they used to have them back in the in the 80s, but I don't even know if it was Dunkin' Donuts. Was Dunkin' Donuts around in the 80s? I know Mr. Donut. And there was another dummy. Yeah, I think they were. I think they were. Pretty sure they were. All right, so I paid a buck twenty-nine for this travel mug. I listed it February fourteenth. Sold it February fourteenth for eleven dollars. I took an eleven dollar offer on it like that, and uh, plus shipping, and and I was good to go. That was, so that was a good deal. So all right, next. And these books were a they were a good deal. I mean I paid I paid two dollars and fifty eight cents for these, all about reading books. Uh, the buyer did send me an email after they she received them here. She she received them and let me know that there is a Facebook grow, group dedicated to this buying and selling of of uh, this particular thing. And I hadn't realized that that Facebook groups could would be that um that niched i didn't realize they would be niched out like that i mean i know you know pyrex and stuff like that but to be niched right down to one type of curriculum was very interesting to me so uh, if i were to find any more of these i would probably try to sell them there first so all right so anyway i paid uh two dollars and fifty eight cents for the lot at goodwill they were half off that day and i listed them February 15th I sold them February 17th and I did get the $40 plus shipping so sweet next dollhouse furniture these sat right there for a while after I listed all the other ones for some reason I didn't I didn't get them listed right off I know that's a really kind of a horrible picture right there I had better pictures but I'm doing screenshots now so I don't have all these these paid window uh, pages open because it just slows my computer way down. You, you've seen some of my videos, and it, my computer's gotten older and older. It's not getting, it's not getting newer, and I'm not buying a new one if I can help it right now. So, uh, it's this this machine's probably, I'm gonna say at least four, maybe five years old, something like that. So, uh, it, it it doesn't like to have a lot of wind. It was it was good in its day, but you know if I did buy a new one. It would be nice to play Skyrim on a better computer, but uh, but uh, I, I don't have a lot of great response. It doesn't work as well playing game playing that. Game. That's the only game I play is Skyrim. Just so you know, I don't I don't care about any of the other ones. That don't bother me. I, I don't get excited about new releases um, or a game. I'm not a gamer. I just blow some time playing Skyrim. So anyway. Um, yeah, so anyway, these, these were, I paid basically nothing for these, uh, they came in a big bag full of, full of dollhouse furniture that I already parted out and priced out on the other things that are listed, so, you know, anyway, so, uh, I listed them February 8th, and I sold them February 17th, and I got $13 plus shipping, so, cool, next. And this is just this is a Pyrex bowl, you know. This is part of that lot that I had that uh, that uh, that I had forever, you know. And uh, so finally, I listed them all a while back, and there's I'm still selling some out. I'm thinking about taking stuff over to the shop though. Uh, so I only really I paid two bucks for this. I listed it September first, two thousand seventeen. Sold it. And sold it uh, February seventeenth. I only got ten bucks plus shipping on it. I could probably have gotten ten bucks at the shop for it. So you know, although this pattern is hard to sell. So anyway, um, it's already listed. So I just I'm not gonna worry about it. I might, but I'm not right now. So next, this is a cool little Fire King Blue Delphite. Sugar Bowl, I, I'm going to say I found this at Goodwill. Yep, I found it at Goodwill. I paid $0.79 cents for it. I listed it November 17th last year, sold it February 18th. And what did I get? I got 
I got $11. I took $11 with free shipping. Um, and I did make I still made money because it didn't cost that much to ship first class. So, all right, next. But that blue Delphite, if you find it, some of that stuff's really good. So remember that. Next. Sailor Moon. I actually listed these um, in this lot, but the, someone made an offer for $20, but they only wanted one of the books out of this lot. One of the Sailor Moon supers or stars. I think it was the star. I'm not sure. It might have been the super. I don't remember which one it was. But anyway, so uh, she offered me twenty bucks for that one book, so I did. I, I did. I did take it. Uh, let's see. I paid for the whole lot. I paid four dollars and fourteen cents. I think they were they were on they were on clearance half off, so they would have been a dollar twenty nine. So half so sixty five cents or something like that is what I paid each. Something like that. So uh, does that does that sound right? Are they a dollar twenty nine? No, that's the hardcovers a dollar twenty nine. They're they're fifty. No, they're not. Are they ninety nine cents a piece for the soft covers? I think they are. So anyway, I paid maybe fifty cents for the book. So so anyway, yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna change that because it's not four fourteen for that. So it's like fifty cents. So okay. So uh, yeah. So I listed it, yeah, and that was the same day. So I listed it February 18th. It sold February 18th. I got 20 bucks for that one. I redid the listing and redid it, and uh, they have not sold yet. So the rest of them, so it may have just been a, a fluky one deal on that. So they they do seem like they do sell pretty, pretty fairly, pretty decent. So, um, so you know, I think they probably will eventually. Just it's going to be one of those things that takes time. So, all right, next. Monopoly, Boy Scouts of America. Sat back here for several years. Uh, I picked it up, I believe, I picked it up at, I got it at Goodwill, so it was 99 cents. Um, I listed it January 22nd, sold it February 19th, and uh, I got $30 for it, so that was, uh, that was sweet. rogue hair right there. What time is it? I got a little time yet. Alright, next. I gotta hurry up though. No more stories. Natural beekeeping book. Uh, I paid 65 cents. Same day. Same clearance day at Goodwill. So it was half off the which, yeah. So the soft cover adult books are $1.29. So it was half off of that. So I listed it February 18th. Sold it February 19th. That took $9 plus shipping. And again, happy to do so. So, next. And do you notice the trend here? Books, books, books. Uh, the Bible Knowledge Commentary, I paid two bucks for this at Goodwill. I listed it February 4th, sold it February 19th. I, got, I took $12 plus shipping. So, out the door. Out the door. Next. This I had listed for a while. I thought it was so pretty. I had it, I've had it, but I had it for a list of longer than I was I had thought it would I thought it would have sold faster but I paid a buck for it so no big deal uh listed it uh, October 7th 2017 so we're cruising in on two years you know year and a half uh sold it February 20th for 20 I got 20 bucks 20 bucks plus shipping on it so a buck to 20 works for me now, even though it took two years I don't care I, have, I, I don't care next <laughs> nope next Keith Green, a couple of Keith Green CDs, the Ministry Years, not CDs, cassette cassette tapes. These are cassette tapes. Uh, pick these up. Let's see. I paid fifty cents. They are a quarter a piece. I paid fifty cents for them. Listed them November, November twenty second last year. Sold February twentieth, and I took six dollars and one cent plus shipping. So. Uh, some cassettes are good, some cassettes are not good, some cassettes are middle of the road. I'll take that. Fifty cents to six bucks, that it works. That's not what I not my wildest dream, but uh next. I got these at the niche. They're in the free stuff. They had them in the free stuff. So uh, I took them. 
great ideas if you find great ideas books uh, prices are down on them now so uh, I just looked yesterday and they're not really selling as great as they used to a lot of people coming in real cheap 10 bucks a piece they're coming in so which is about what I sold these for but some of the some of some of these especially in in a, in a large group you could yeah I, well, let's just say I sold years ago I sold a huge lot of these for five hundred dollars so it was probably 25 books something like that so maybe that doesn't work out to all that great but um it worked for me so I, anyway i paid nothing i listed february 14th sold on the 20th and i got 20 dollars plus shipping for the pair so next um voltron a couple of the i can't remember what they're called Lion, lion bodies is what it's just what they are. I don't, I don't know how that. Uh, I'm sure there was a special name for them. I didn't watch Voltron that much. I was a Star Blazers kind of guy. Voltron didn't really do it for me. So uh, I paid a buck ninety eight for the pair. They're at my goodwill. They're ninety nine cents each. So a buck ninety eight for the pair. And uh, I listed them January tenth. Sold February twentieth for twelve dollars plus shipping. Next. I picked these up at the Goodwill. The Richard, it was Richard, Richard Scary did these books. And he used to be very, very, very collectible. Um, I thought they would be better than, than what I found in the, the, uh, the solds when I got them home. I was a bit, I was a bit, uh, disappointed. Uh, anyway, so I paid two bucks for them. I did list them much higher than everyone else was selling them for. And I figured I'd have to wait a while, so I listed them January, no, July 24th last year, sold them February 21st, and I got $30 with free shipping, and as far as I'm concerned, I killed it, killed it on those, so that was good. Next, um, this is a lid, sold it, they canceled it, so that was, that was, that was a canceled order, boo. Very sad, very sad. But and I've sold it again since then, and it got shipped out and has been returned. And I sold it again, and it's been shipped out, and now it's on its way back to me again. Cause I, I know it came off a of B60, so I changed the title for just the B60. I know that it came off that because that was my machine, and this guy bought it with the B60, and he says he has a B60, and he says it doesn't fit. But it has to fit, doesn't it? I I guess it has to fit. But anyway, so uh, yeah, I sold it for eight fifty, but it was canceled. That this one was canceled. So uh, I'm disappointed in the Keurig stuff. So anyway, next Matthew Henry, kind of the complete Matthew Henry. I've sold this before. Uh, for I sold it before for I think for like fifteen or twenty dollars. And I did not notice, but Volume 2 had a, quite a bit. There's actually quite a bit of underlining and highlighting in it. I I looked, but I I didn't see it. So I sold it quite a long time ago, over, over a year ago. And they, they did return them because they didn't want the highlighting. So um, that was fine. I just relisted it. I, I got them for free. I got them probably at a clean out at Niche. Not a clean out of niche, but in the free stuff at niche, probably. Uh, anyway, I listed them August August 12th originally, 2017 was when I listed them. They sold February 21st. They've not been returned. And uh, I got $25. So I got more the second time around than I did the first time. I, yeah, I listed them much higher. Much, much higher with that in mind that they might be coming back again. So, but... I took 25 bucks, which, so, cool. Plus shipping, so, um, yeah, that was that. So, let's see, is there a next? There should be a next for True Gather. Yeah, True Gather, I sold a uh, Revereware lid. Let's see, I paid 79 cents, listed it October 12th, sold it February 17th. I got 8.99 for it, so I did get 8.99 for, well, this says it's on sale. I think I'm running a sale on True Gather. I don't think it's actually... I don't even know if... I don't know when that 15% off showed up. So, 
I don't think it was there before. But anyway, I did get eight ninety nine for it. So on True Gather. So all right. So that was that. So for everything that I sold this week, I paid twenty six dollars and twenty four cents, and my gross sales were three hundred and sixty three dollars and twenty two cents minus the eight fifty for a net of three hundred and fifty four dollars and seventy two cents for the week. So that was it, and and I really have to go. So y'all have a great day, and uh, thanks for watching, and. Hopefully I get caught up in my what sold videos. We'll, we'll, we'll get on it. Maybe I maybe I get. I don't think I'll get them all caught up before I go on vacation. But hopefully we'll have to give it a try. So take care. Bye bye.